Hey guys, welcome to Next Tense Study, and this is the second part on the video of general defenses in law of torts. So, in the first video, we have seen what is tort and what does general defense mean, and when will one need to use general defense. In this video, we will cover the topic of Valentine non fit injuria. Then, with the first defense, which is no Valentine non fit injuria. In case a plaintiff voluntarily suffers some harm, he has no remedy for that under the law of tort and he is not allowed to complain about the same. The reason behind this defense is that no one can enforce a right that he has voluntarily paid off. Now, in cases of voluntary non fit injuria, consent may be given either expressly or impliedly. Now, expressly it means he, uh, one has signed it and impliedly refers to he has either taken part in such action or he has spoken that harm which is no problem here. Now we know everyone is the best judge of his interest and if uh, due to his interest he suffers any harm then in the eyes of law his claims for such harm will not be actionable at any cost. So now uh, this principle is kind of based on common sense. एक एग्जांपल लेते हैं कि मैंने किसी को अपने घर पे इनवाइट किया है तो मैं अब उस इंसान को ट्रेसपास के लिए सू नहीं कर सकती एज आई हैव कंसेंटेड हिज एंट्री अपॉन माय लैंड इन द सेम वे इफ आई वॉलंटरीली वेव ऑफ एनी ऑफ माय राइट्स देन आई कैन नॉट फाइल अ सूट इफ आई सफर डैमेजेस ड्यू टू सच एक्शन फॉर अ सक्सेसफुल डिफेंस अंडर वॉलंटरी नॉन फिट इंजरीया there are two essentials which must be proven. Pahla hai that the consent must be free. That is to plaintiff kaam kar raha ho, apne mercy se kar raha ho, usse koi force ya fir undue influence ke andar nahi karwaya ja raha ho. And also, other thing that is important is that there should be no misrepresentation of facts. The second is that mere knowledge does not imply consent. इसको एक एग्जांपल के थ्रू समझते हैं जब भी कोई फुटबॉल प्लेयर अपने आप को साइन करता है किसी कंपनी से देन ही गिव्स हिज कंसेंट टू एनी हार्म और एनी इंजरी दैट ही सफर्स ड्यूरिंग द गेम इन द फील्ड दैट कैन बी ड्यूरिंग प्रैक्टिस और ड्यूरिंग द एक्चुअल मैच लेकिन अगर दो प्लेयर्स के बीच गेम के बाहर लड़ाई हो जाती है ग्राउंड के बाहर लड़ाई हो जाती है एंड देन ही इज इंजर्ड एंड वो तो कंपनी पर सूट फाइल करता है then the company cannot say कि इसको knowledge था and hence he gave his assent or his consent for that harm which he suffered. Now let's have a look at few cases on voluntary non-fit injury. The first is Halls with Brooklyn Auto Racing Club. Now is the Halls plaintiff था and Brooklyn Auto Racing Club was the defendant and the race track belonged to them. So during the race, kya hua ki do karo ki beech tukar ho gai and one among them was thrown between the people and the plaintiff that is Mr. Halls was injured. Now the court held that the plaintiff knowingly undertook the risk of watching the risk. It is a type of injury which could be foreseen by anyone watching the event. Hence, the defendant was not held liable in this case. Next case is Padmavati vs. Dugga Naika. So, in this case, what happened was that the driver was going to petrol pump for the petrol pump. So, in the road, there were two strangers who were asking for a lift. And so, the driver gave them a lift. Now, due to some problem in the right wheel, the jeep got toppled. And both the strangers were thrown out and they suffered very serious injuries now due to which one person was dead now there were two conclusions which come, uh, came out from the case the first one was that the master of the driver was not held liable in this case as it was a sheer accident and the strangers had consented and voluntarily sat into the vehicle hence the principle of voluntary non-fit injury was not applicable in the case so the next case is Woolridge vs Sumner. So in this case, it happened that the plaintiff was standing on the arena boundary and was clicking on pictures. So the defendant owned some horses. So the horses came very fast towards the plaintiff due to which the plaintiff got frightened and the horse got hurt due to which he suffered some serious injuries. In this case, the court held 
that the defendant was not liable as he had taken all due care and precaution. The next case which we'll look at for today is Elliot vs. Wilkes. So in this case, my address pass of court injured because of the spring guns that were present on defendant's land. Usna knowingly a risk liya tha and then he suffered injuries for the same. Is case me? Is case me be the defendant was not held liable and the claims made by the plaintiff was not actionable. If it's similar examples, imagine that you own a dog. Who is very aggressive? आपने अपने दरवाजे के बाहर be aware of the dog का sign लगा दिया है. Then you have covered and you have done all your duties. लेकिन अगर कोई trespasser घुसता है, despite knowing the fact and despite seeing the board, and then he suffers injuries, in that case you will not be liable for any of his injuries. अगर आपको ये वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू आर चैनल नेक्स्ट जनरेशन स्टडी एंड आल्सो फॉलो ऑन आवर इंस्टाग्राम एंड आल्सो यू कैन जॉइन आर टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक इज इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर ऑल द पीडीएफ ऑफ आर कंटेंट व्हिच वी अपलोड थैंक यू